Hey everybody, this is Mace1370, back for another RTRA 4 draft. There are a couple of really good cards in this pack. Uh, Call the Conclave is, you know, great and borderline OP in my opinion. Uh, Grove of the Guardian, though, is, I think, uh, qualifies as a solid bomb. You can even splash it, you know, if you're in Azorius or Golgari, uh, I can still see play. 8-8s uh, eight are very hard to deal with in this format, and if you populate it, it just gets absurd pretty quickly. So yeah, unfortunate that we're passing this, but I think we're taking a better card. Alright, well, uh, I guess to go along with it, we could take Tristani's Judgment. It populates. Common Bond is also an option, although I think we'll get enough pump if we end up in green-white. Let's see, so yeah, they took a rare out of this pack. There's really not, I mean, if we take, if we take this or Common Bond, there's really just one other so there's a card in the pack after that. Annihilating Fire is a good card too. Uh, I think, yeah, we can take that Tristani's Judgment here and that'll be good for us. So yeah, the person next to us probably took uh, the Call of the Conclave and then after that I'm not sure what they would have taken. It probably would have depended on what they first picked. If they had like a rare, uh, like a red rare bomb or something, uh, or like a mythic or whatnot, they might take the Annihilating Fire or they could take the common bond if they're going on the Selesny plan as well, so hopefully we can cut them off of that. Alright, well here we get to choose between either Axbane Guardian or Corsair's Accord. I think Axbane Guardian is the pick. Six drops uh, can fill up pretty quickly in this format, so you don't want to take them very often and very early. Uh, I tend to just kind of get them when I can, and I don't have to sacrifice taking something else unless they are a significantly better 6-drop, like Tristani's Judgment, for example. So I think taking Axe Guardian here is, is just fine. Okay, interesting. Um, so this is pick 4. There's a Blood Crypt, which is worth a few tickets. So the fact that it's still here indicates that this was probably a very strong pack. There's a, a Lay of Sky Knight and a Sunspire Griffin. So it's probable that no one upstream from us is white, or rather um, Azorius. An Augur Spree still being here is a little questionable, so this this pack was probably pretty busted. There's even an Uncommon, so that, and they didn't take the rare either. Maybe there's a really good foil. Hmm. I think for our purposes we can take Eye in the Sky. I don't know if we'll be green. We haven't really seen much green pass to us, but we'll probably be white at this point, especially if these cards are still here. This card is just worse than Lay of Sky Knight, so maybe it's correct just to take the Knight. Maybe I'm being greedy and I want to be able to populate my 8-8 token. No, I'm going to take the Lay of Sky Knight. I mean, I don't know if Green White will be open, and I think this card will be better for me overall. Tristani's Judgment still works in Azorius. Uh, this pack is just weak all around. There's really nothing that we super want here. I mean, I guess we could take Inspiration. Yeah. Uh, there's really no white card that we super want to play. Asperia Skywatch is okay. Inspiration is okay. I guess we could take the Skywatch. I don't know. I don't feel really strongly one way there or the other. Okay, well here we have either Azorius Guildgate, Rogue's Passage, or Hussar Patrol. I guess we'll take the Hussar Patrol. Uh, this pack is pretty weak as well. It's between Selesnya Sentry and Dispel. I guess we just take the Dispel. Um, well, here we take Tower Drake. There is a Tower Ninja still in the pack. It feels like a little late to see that, but other than this and, like, I guess the Axe Bane Guardian, you really haven't seen any green at all. Um, Azorius Guildgates here. I'm more interested in Selesnya Guildgates to splash Grove of the Guardian, which absolutely is splash worthy. So, yeah, now it's looking like we're going more down the Azorius path. Um, here we just take another Dispel, I suppose. Not much else for us. A few Golgari cards wield, so maybe that was an option. I feel like getting a fourth pick Lay of Sky Knight is a fairly strong signal. Um, this card is pretty much always taken if you're an Azorius player. There's like very few cards you would take over it. Uh, like Skymark Rock is maybe one, but it would have to be foil because it's not in the same print run, I think, as Lay of Sky Knight. Uh, and then, you know, if there's a particular rare, like Detention Sphere or whatever, but um, again, the, the rare was still in that pack when we got it, so they could have taken a foil, and then the other cards would have to be common, and there is no Azorius common that you take over Lay of Sky Knight. 
So there's max one Azorius player upstream from us, and even then that would it would have to have been a foil card that they took. Uh, getting the late Tower Drake also is good. I mean that is a soft signal. The uh, Tower Andrix still being there is a little questionable since we really saw like no green before that. It's possible that green just wasn't opened. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what people took. I'm gonna pause because apparently these packs are taking a while. Hmm. So here we decide either between Cancel and Goblin Electromancer. We haven't taken a red card, so we're not in uh, Is it? So we just take the Cancel. Uh, really nothing for us here. Mine Rot's annoying, but it's. I guess maybe it's the same playability as Vushina Racketeer. We really don't care if they Racketeer, do we? So yeah, getting Mind Rot can be annoying if it's good for them. Mind Rot has higher upside. Like, Mind Rot is often not a good card to play, neither is Racketeer, but. Mind Rot can be, can be good. It can blow blow your opponent out. You know, if they're sandbagging like two strong removal spells and you just strip them out of their hand. Hmm. Um, yeah, nothing for us here, so we'll take a blue-white card, I guess. Probably hiding the Axe Bane. I don't think we're gonna, gonna be doing that. Take a rare. Why not? So yeah, not super thrilled with our deck so far. It's okay, we have a few good cards, but we're definitely short on playables right now. This seems to happen to me a lot in pack one because I like to stay open and try and see what is being played. So oftentimes my first, you know, like uh, two or three picks are kind of discarded. Um, I feel like overall I've had more success doing that, but Recently, I'm wondering if I should try forcing more often, just because it feels like people can be very stubborn in this format, and I don't know, maybe people are getting bored too, so they're just kind of doing whatever they want, and just grabbing, you know, like, janky, like, three, four, and five color decks. Okay. So yeah, hopefully we get a good uh, pack two. We passed some, you know, some white cards and some blue cards, so it's possible that we have trouble getting a full 23 this draft. Mm, Ash Zealot isn't very exciting. So Tristani's Judgment, like I said earlier, is a very strong removal spell, but we already have two six drops. I don't want to increase that to three so soon. So this is unexciting, but we just take a Tower Drake here. It's a solid flyer. Hmm. It looks like we're having the same print run over and over and over with uh, Azorius Guildgate, Towering Indrake, Tower Drake, and Tristani's Judgment. I think Slukoi Scorpion is also in that print run. I don't know about the Sunning Growth. We didn't see it in the last pack, but the Slukoi was still there. Um, we might just take Tower Drake here again. I mean, Azorius Guildgate isn't doing much for us. Uh, I mean, they're nice to have, but I'm not taking them over a good, solid playable. Reborn Defenses is a nice trick, uh, and I guess we do have Grove of the Guardian, so that is something that is worth populating. Should maybe we take Reborn Defenses then? I don't know. I think I still just take the Flyer. I mean, like, this is the core of your deck. Doing stuff like this is cool, but isn't reliable since there are two cards in your 40 cards. We could maybe get a Reborn later as well. Um, so here's another unexciting pack. We'll just take Keen Apparition, I suppose. We don't have any two drops yet. We're kind of short on creatures. Hmm. So I don't think we need Phantom General. Uh, we could take Syncopate. Syncopate's solid. We could take maybe Stealer Secrets, but that's not the greatest. Taking Selesnya Guildgate might be an option in this pack, just so we can play our Grove of the Guardian. Yeah, I think I might like that here, actually. I mean, we're giving up a Syncopate, but we're short on creatures, so I don't know how many more spell effects we might need. Well, I think we're just short on playables, not creatures. I looked at I looked at seven, and I, didn't, I thought to myself that wasn't very many, but I guess we're kind of on track, since you want about 14 creatures at the end, and we're not even halfway through the draft yet. Hmm. Alright, I'll take the Syncopate here and hope to get greedy and get another uh, Selesnya Guildgate later. Just taking a third, fourth Tower Drake. 
It's like this is towerdrake.deck. Getting it done. So yeah, we want to see more two drops for sure, like Azorius Arresters and things of that sort. Um, you know, like Azorius Charm would be nice. Uh, some more powerful removal spells would be good, dramatic rescues, etc. Alright, well here I think we do just take the Slesnia Guild Gate because we have two dispels, so I don't think we need a third. Runewing is, is fine, um, he's not the worst, but I don't mind passing him up for a guild gate. Alright, well here we get to choose between either Sundering Growth and Avenging Hero and Crosstown Courier. I think we might just have to take the Crosstown Courier. We have like no two drops right now. Avenging Hero is okay. Sundering Growth might be okay for a deck since we can populate our Grove token, but yeah. Getting some dorks would be good. Uh, things like Nightly Valor give this deck a lot of, uh, you know, in-game power. Okay, uh, we don't really have very many tricks yet, so now I will take the Rootborn Defense. I feel like this print run has been just opened a bunch, and it's making things difficult for everybody. Okay. We could take the Train Caracal. Uh, we could take Golgari Charm if we get something like um, Nightly Valor. We don't want them to Golgari Charm it away. Nah, I'll just take Train Caracal. It's a sideboard card against Rakdosi type decks. Um, so here between Sundering Growth and Fall of the Gavel, we have Keening Apparition for an enchantment already. If we didn't, then I might take Sundering Growth. I'm kind of curious that these things are making it around. It's kind of unfortunate for us since we're just playing a bunch of dorky flyers. We'll take Fall of the Gavel. Um, here I think we probably take Inspiration. We might end up needing to play it since it looks like we're getting kind of short on cards. Oh, all right. Well, that was a nice wheel. I don't really know what people are taking. Ooh, Foil Land. Sparkly. It's a late dispel. So yeah, I think this pack too uh, was pretty weak. I think a lot of people opened the exact same print run, and that print run didn't have a lot of cards for people. So hopefully everybody else is hurting as much as we are. Well, there's a Grunt Ranks, and a Centaur's Herald, which we'll be giving to some happy Selesnya player, along with an eye in the sky, that probably won't make it around the table. I think we'd take Nightly Valor. It's a good card. Eye in the sky wouldn't be bad for, for us either, since we don't have that many 4-drops, but I think Nightly Valor is just better. That's another Nightly Valor, so we'll take it. Hopefully either Rune Wing or Hussar Patrol tables. Syncopate probably won't. Steeler Secrets might. I, I suspect either the Rune Wing or the Hussar Patrol will, though. This pack is okay. I mean, there are a bunch of playables in here. Nothing's like super drill worthy, but yeah, Nightly Valor. Hmm. Alright, so we can take our third Nightly Valor, which I don't think we need. I think we just take the Light of Sky Knight, because like I said earlier, there's really no common in Azorius. You take over this. I suppose if you had like a completely clogged three slot, which ours kind of is, but we still only have ten creatures, and you didn't have a single Nightly Valor, then maybe you might take a Nightly Valor over a Light of Sky Knight, and even then it's pretty close. This card is bonkers. Alright, well this pack is pretty bad for us. There are a few awesome cards like Slime Molding and Annihilating Fire, neither of which we can really play. Suppose we could splash Slime Molding. Is that something worth doing? Versus Stealer of Secrets? <laughs> I mean, Maybe, probably not. Yeah, I guess we just take Steeler. That's not exciting. Okay, here we could take Ethereal Armor. Could take another Inspiration. Are we really gonna be playing two? 12 creatures, so if we pick up a couple more, then maybe Ethereal Armor gets better. Yeah, I'll take Ethereal Armor. 
We have two Nightly Valors, so I don't know. It might get there. Heavens to Betsy. Finally, it's a pack with a different print run. <laughs> and we get to choose between Swift Justice, Azorius Arrestor, and Vassal Soul. I think Azorius Arrestor is pretty clearly the pick here. We have a ton of three mana flyers, so we don't really need to pick up any more of them. And we need more two drops. And Azorius Arrestor is a good two drop. Alright, well, we're back to this thing again. Um, I think we've seen this print run a lot too. Maybe I'm just seeing print runs, I don't know. I guess we'll take Niv Magus Elemental. We can technically play him, I mean, we are blue. We have some instants that we can, you know, throw away to him. Maybe he's playable for us. I don't know if we're, like, aggressive enough. Our lack of two slot is hurting us right now. Okay. Well, we could take Avenging Arrow. We have Tristani's Judgment, so we have one removal spell and some dispels, and we have a cancel on the board. I think I might just be greedy and take the common bond. I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm playing um, uh, Avenging Arrow. I might splash the common bond, we'll see. It depends on what the final deck looks like. We could take another Stealer of Secrets, but this card is just not that exciting for us. We have, you know, like no inaction injunction. I guess we have Lay of Sky Knights to maybe get him through for a turn. Okay, well, the Rinwing Wield, so at least we got one. Here, I'll just take the Aerial Predation. I'd rather not have a flyer blown up. Okay, so this was kind of a weird draft. I felt like the packs were a little lopsided in terms of, you know, the cards. Like, we just saw the same cards over and over and over. <clears throat> Hopefully everyone else did. We have the one guild gate, so we can probably just add a forest and splash this thing and be fine. Um, and that would give us two, so I don't know if maybe we can play two forests and play the common bond. We'll see. I don't know if common bond is powerful enough to be splash worthy. Kind of surprised some of the Hussar patrols didn't table. I've been seeing that card go around the table a lot. Play at least one dispel. Probably one stealer. Uh, let's be honest, probably two stealers. Full play set of tower drakes. Probably play an inspiration. Maybe this thing. Probably that thing. These things. And now we need to make up a couple cards. Alright, so Ethereal Armor might be an option. Follow the Gavel might be. We don't have any 5 drops. Oh, yes, we do. We have 2 Night of Valors. What am I smoking? So, is Ethereal Armor a card I want to play with only 2 enchantments in my deck? The thing that you use Ethereal Armor for is, you know, like on your 2 drops to let them get in for a, a turn or two more. On flyers, it's much less impressive since they can usually evade through anyways. So maybe Ethereal Armor is not what we want to be doing. Maybe Niv Magus Elemental is. Just gives us another early. It's kind of like a two drop, you know, like a one or two drop or whatever. And we have we have a bunch of instants that we can pitch to it. So maybe that's good. Alright, so let's see what the lands have to say. Mountain. No, I don't think that's happening. Well, luckily we don't have any double costing cards, which is good. So I think if we take out an island, and we add a forest, and then we take out a plains, and we put in Selesnia so Guild Gate. If we have two green sources, now grow the guardian. I guess we just take out another island. It gives us one, two, eight islands. I mean, we really, really need one. And then that gives us, yeah. Okay, here we go. 